hey guys welcome uh back to the channel in this video what, what i want to look at is the contact us page you can see here and the funny thing that i realized that is that one of the images that was supposed to be on the contact us page i i place it on the about us page so we're gonna have to change that uh it's not really a big deal we're just probably just gonna switch it up i add three additional vid uh images here so I have uh, uh, three more images that we're going to place on our single page view up here. And when we do that, then we can just switch around whatever we need. All we have to do is switch around the number. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, as we can see here, all we need is a title, just like that about us page. Uh, we need a form. We need the map image. That's what I'm gonna put there. Or we could uh, put Google uh uh iframe so that's something that i'll consider as well so that's depending on how i feel i, I probably just put uh, uh google a use the google api to get the map and um, place it there so for the form we're just gonna get into i already have the form here which which i just pasted in in this uh text uh notepad here but the form actually comes from Bulma. So I'm gonna show you what I did. So I basically only needed a couple of fields. So I wanted this email field here and I need and I wanted this uh, message field here. So that's that's what I went ahead and, and did. So I just copied what I need from here. You could copy everything, but I just needed certain um areas. I just copied those and further down uh I need I wanted to have the the name the first name and the last name on one field so so I, I just went ahead and copied this one that has it already on one field that I didn't have to go to the trouble of uh having to have to put them align or whatever so I just went ahead and just copied uh what I needed that's pretty much it for for that so the server is already running we are on the home page and at, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete these texts uh, because I don't like to see this as we do not have any we do not have any link currently we do not have any link we could put these links down there but I don't I don't want to do that so we do not have any links so but I want the space we could use the CSS to do the space but I, I'm just gonna delete the link for now just for ease of use or whatever so I'm just gonna go into the footer and uh, just delete these uh ticks here it's pretty much all we need to do for that and it should look the same except for the for the text so it should just remove the text and probably bring it brought it down a little bit but that's okay and that's pretty much it uh what i want to do is i'm gonna change this this does not this goes to the bottom uh uh website well, I'm gonna change this. I'm not even gonna worry about that right now. But for this video, let's just head into the contact us page now, which is pretty simple. All we need to do here is to uh, open a div. Before I do that, I want to actually get this in a container class so that it does everything is uh, put together and has some margin right around in here. Uh, I'm gonna just have has uh, text centered and uh, then I'm gonna have an H1 here that says contact us and uh, off. I'm gonna style this right away and I'm gonna put uh, the H1 to be underlined so this is basically going to be the text decoration and uh, line or underline or whatever. So that's it. And also, I think I want to put some margin from the from the bottom to so add some margin about five percent. So this margin here will just push the content down. Everything else that's below it will just push it down a bit. So let's just head into what we're going to have here: two columns. So we're gonna say columns, and then in here we're gonna have a single column and further down we're gonna have a column here and uh, in here i'm just gonna add a div 
and this will hold uh, the form but in here we're going to put that image so I'm just going to say image and the source is at slash assets slash image to dot jpg so that's the image that we're going to use and uh, we're just going to say image 2 for the alternate text in here i'm going to create a component i'm actually going to use a component in order to use the form because i don't want to copy the code uh, and this is good for reusability the reason why i'm putting a form here is because a uh, form is already an html entity or uh, tag or element tag or whatever so that's why i'm putting that there so in here i uh, just go ahead and copy that code so let me just copy this and i'll paste it here we may need to do some refactoring that this year i'm gonna delete this because we don't need it the one the yes or no we don't need that so i'm just gonna delete this uh to be honest, I don't think we also need this 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 button. I was looking at the the mockup and I was wondering why do I need uh the the cancel button. So I'm just gonna put uh so I could put it like to clear everything. So if I click on cancel, it clears all uh, everything that's in the form, but it's not really necessary right now. And a funny thing is that I didn't wrap this in any form element, but that's not unless when we're making it functional. If we're making it functional, then we can always add a form around this. But for now, it's not really necessary. So basically, what this does is just push these. These are on one line, so you have form body, and it's a uh, horizontal. So these are on one line, and then this uh email will take up pretty much all everything and uh for some reason i want to get this danger class off of here it's not necessary and what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how it looks first before i because you may not even understand but let me just import this so you'll get a better understanding of what is happening here so let me just import a form from uh, Google directory, this is a component. This is in the component slash uh, form, and then I'm just gonna register this here components and uh, form, and then we can use the, the component here. All right, let's go back to the browser. Uh, see if it if it's reloaded as yet. So it's compiling. All right, there we go. Let's head over to the contact us page, and nothing is on here. Uh, why is there nothing on here? And I don't have an error. Right, let me refresh the page. Probably hasn't yet picked up. Okay. There we go. So now we have it. So you can see form. I add the, the label on top here. So last name, first name. I'm going to remove this little tick here. Uh, the danger class is what you were seeing. It would have been red. I could, I'm going to remove this value and put a placeholder there. And that's, that will be it. So let's go ahead and, and do that. The image is positioned where I want it to be as well. So it's pretty good from from there so let me just go ahead and make this minor tweak here so in the up form i don't want this uh where is it i don't want this here that's one thing that i don't want and that's it that's that's a, that's a check mark and i don't want a value uh i want a placeholder only so we can say hello at and whatever so uh, this is not correct hello at save that and uh, save back over here and uh, this should be gone uh, it's taking a while to compile but it's cool there we go 
So it should be gone and now we have a placeholder instead of a value placeholder. So this is pretty much it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.